Hi, I'm Mark. Welcome to another episode of Railway Fun Facts and Trivia. And today it's all about muscle power versus the internal combustion machine. Today we're talking about human power versus the internal combustion machine. It's very obvious that trains run on tracks. No real surprise there, but before a train can run on a track, the track has to be inspected. In the earliest days of railroading, the way they inspected the track was walking the track. If they found something, they would try and repair it, but you could only carry so much. So there had to be a better way, and was invented by a gentleman by the name of George Sheffield. George Sheffield lived along a railroad track, and the train ran every day of the week except Sunday. And so on Sundays, George would walk along the track a couple of miles. That got old real fast. And so what he did is he cobbled together a device that would allow him roll himself down the track and what he developed was called the velocipede and this is the velocipede from the Nevada Northern Railway it dates from 1910 George's invention was the late 1800s but essentially it's the same it's like rowing a boat with the velocipede you could inspect 20 miles of track in about three hours George is using his velocipede he finds a broken rail, he reports the broken rail, and they ask, how did you find it? He fessed up, he created the velocipede. Instead of the railroad getting mad, they got very excited and said, could you make some of these for us? George said yes, and created the Sheffield Velocipede Company. And so this was George's first model, and I will show you the second model here in a second. The Velocipede you just saw was great. It's for a single person, and that's wonderful, but it can't carry very much. So there was a need to carry more men and also carry tools. So what's coming up behind me is the traditional hand car that people really think about when they see a hand car. And this is actually called a gang car. The reason is it could carry a track gang and they could also carry tools on it. This car weighs about 800 pounds. So you can imagine if you got six real husky guys, they could inspect the track, make repairs to the track, and this was a lot more efficient than walking and considerably cheaper than sending out a steam locomotive. But again, it is muscle power and the next stage is the internal combustion engine. All right, Lennox, away you go. Ah, pump! So we've done muscle power. The next evolution was the internal combustion machine. And so we call these speeders, and we got a speeder coming up right now. Okay. This one of the larger speeders, it's a gang car, could carry multiple men, and it could pull a trailer for track tools. This was wonderful. It sure beat pumping up and down the track. So they came with little single cylinders, multiple cylinders. The largest one I've ever seen is a Ford V8. 100 horsepower one. So, away you go. The disadvantage to the wheeled speeder is it has to stay on the rails. So, if you're inspecting 20 miles of track, you have to turn that around and drive it back 20 miles. If there's a train or something like that, you're in the way of the train. So this is the next evolution. 
We call this a high rail truck. In the front of the tires, we have high rail wheels. Those wheels on this vehicle are hydraulic. You can raise them and lower them with hydraulics. Once we put the high rails down, we actually lock the steering wheel. When you drive the high rail, you don't touch the steering wheel. It sort of freaks people out. But the great thing about the high rail is you got heating, you got air conditioning, you got a place for your lunch, and you also have tunes. So this is the modern version for track inspection. All righty. Not all speeders are used for official railroad business. Some people are hobbyists, and this is a rail bike. This was a father and son project for exploring railroads. At the Nevada Northern, we do allow people to use their speeders on our rails once they take the safety training. So it's an excellent way to spend the afternoon getting up close and personal with the railroad. So we just went through approximately 140 years of railroad history, from the original velocipedes to the internal combustion speeders to the high rail pickup and to a modern hobbyist with their rail bike. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Railway Fun Facts and Trivia. Check our website often as we update additional episodes and our train schedule and other events that are all happening here at the Nevada Northern Railway National Historic Landmark in Ely, Nevada. This is Mark Bassett saying I'll see you down the tracks.